Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and for today's video I will be sharing with you a home lab project where I will be setting up my own home server. So because I make a lot of content and I have a lot of videos, I've always wanted to have my own file server where I can share all of my content, my videos and photos to different devices on my network and potentially share it with people also outside of my network. So to get started with my home server, I will be using this hardware that is called the Zima board, which is a single board computer. And it also comes with its own software, the Casa OS, where I can easily install these apps and programs that can help me sync all of my files. So in this video, I will show you the unboxing of Zima board that will be used for my home server, its specs and features. I'll show you what Casa OS is and its features and how to set up file storage and shared folders and configure applications. So if you are interested in this video and if you wanted to see what the Zima board looks like and how to set up your own server using Casa OS or, or you're just interested in Casa OS because you haven't really used it before, keep on watching and without further ado, let's get started with today's video. <music> Okay, so it comes with instruction on how to get started, like plugging it in, and then how to set up your server. So I'm just going to follow this and, and we shall see how easy it is to set up. Okay, so I am planning to put it on this area right next to my router, my home router here. I just need an ethernet cable so I can plug in. Okay, so I really like the form factor because I can just fit it anywhere at home. So this is perfect in here because it's not taking up a lot of space since it's going to be for my home setup. So I'm just going to plug it into the port. And let me check the instruction first. Okay, so first it says to connect the Zima board with the router through an ethernet cable. Next is to connect it or plug in the power adapter. Okay, let's plug in the power. For the Zima board power and so it's lighting up now you can see that the ports are lighting up which means that it's starting to function okay hopefully this turns green so it's probably just booting up now and what I like about SBCs or single board computer just like the Raspberry Pi as well is that it's low power so it's really perfect for home use because of the power efficiency and low power consumption and I can just run it 24 7 without having to worry about my electric bills and such okay so now let's try to access the Zima board through the browser so we can just type in HTTP dot casa os dot local and make sure that your on this your computer is on the same network as the zima board so now this is what it looks like so this is like an operating system that 
you can access that is already preloaded on the Zima board so you don't really have to install it it's preloaded so Casa OS is a community-based open source personal cloud system around docker ecosystem that is useful for self-hosting and that's what I'm gonna do today so it simplifies the steps in managing home server there's not a lot of coding and configuration involved in this but it has capabilities of a public cloud and supports different hardware like the Zima board, Intel Nook, Raspberry Pi, and other architectures. So it will ask you to make an account first. This is my first time, so I'm just going to create my account here. Okay, so after creating an account, this is what it's going to look like on the dashboard. So I've read and seen that Casa OS is a very simple system that sets up your servers so you don't really have to do a lot of installation just to set it up so i think it's more on like the graphical user interface in here not a lot of command to get started so it's actually set up in here and it's just up to you on how you will use it so i haven't used casa os before so let's see because i have inserted a hard drive in here ssd so it found a new drive at least it detected the new drive that i've plugged into it so let's go to the storage manager and see if we have to mount it so we can use it later on so let's see so it does come with internal storage of 32 gig and when i go to the drives in here i do have my ssd in here which is this one okay so now i'm gonna go to files and see if i need to like add or mount my ssd in here so i can reach for it so let's see connect network storage okay new local storage okay so i'm gonna create a storage in here i'm just gonna call it my content the select drive will be empty this is a new drive so it's fine okay so now my hard drive has been added to my storage manager in here so i'm able to access it now okay that's good i now have like two drives in here so i have like the content in here okay so i'm gonna try to copy my files from this computer onto my server so this is just gonna be from my camera okay so it's really easy to just move my videos in here just to upload it in here i have my new folder in here with all of my files and videos and i think i could also share it okay so when you go to the app store in here i think there's different apps that you can get in here and i think these are all built around the docker ecosystem so they are all ready to install in here no need to configure just set up and i think this is a very simple way if you wanted to use the apps without having to configure it yourself so i think the point of this casa os on Zima board is just to simplify how you can set up your personal server at home okay so there's different apps in here that is very useful like the next cloud i wanted to try that there's also you know jellyfin in here home assistant for your like smart home and different apps that you can try in here grafana is here too Okay, so even pie a hole is here so you can definitely play around with all of these apps without having to worry about the technicalities of it just to simplify the use of it okay so that would be all for today's video i just got started with a server and i'm gonna share with you guys more on the different apps if i have tried them and figured them out there's a lot of apps there that i've seen on casa os and i'm gonna definitely try to set up vpn server for remote access next time so please watch out for that thank you so much for watching today's video and hope to see you guys in the next one